On August the 15th, 1991, a special camera on top of a mountain in Utah detected a cosmic ray with such incredibly high energy that it became known as the Oh My God particle. Although only the size of an atomic nucleus, it had as much energy as a baseball traveling at close to 60 miles an hour. Assuming it was a proton, which most cosmic rays are, it was moving so close to the speed of light that in a race with a particle of light or a photon, it would have taken the photon 215,000 years for the photon to get even one centimeter ahead of it. And for those worried that human-made giant particle accelerators such as the Large Hadron Collider might be dangerous in some way, the OMG particle had 40 million times more energy than the highest energy proton that the Large Hadron Collider can produce. In fact, to build an OMG particle factory, you'd need an accelerator as big as the orbit of Mercury. Since the OMG particle was detected, several more such ultra-high energy cosmic rays have been found. They're so much more energetic than the majority of cosmic rays that scientists still don't know for sure how and where they're produced. Cosmic rays are very fast-moving atomic nuclei. The great majority of them are protons or hydrogen nuclei, but some consist of heavier nuclei all the way up to nuclei of iron. The Sun gives off charged particles, mostly protons, and mainly during solar eruptions. But the term cosmic ray is usually reserved for particles that come from outside the solar system. A lot of cosmic rays originate within our galaxy, the Milky Way, and are so-called galactic cosmic rays. Many of them probably come from supernovas, which are violent explosions of stars, but tracking down the origin of cosmic rays is complicated by the fact that being charged, their paths are curved during their long journeys by the galactic magnetic field. So we can't just look back along the line of sight at the point of detection to see where they came from. The highest energy cosmic rays such as the OMG particle come from outside our galaxy and their origin is even more uncertain. What processes could possibly give rise to particles with such incredibly high energies? We don't yet know for sure, but thanks to recent research, the list of candidates is narrowing. An important clue came in 2017 when a team working at the Auger Cosmic Ray Observatory in Argentina reported that 6% more cosmic rays come from one half of the sky than the other. This was the first pattern ever definitively detected in the arrival directions of cosmic rays. The Auger Observatory and the Telescope Array in Utah have more recently found cosmic ray hotspots, presumably the locations of relatively nearby sources outside our galaxy. And intriguingly, certain candidate objects lie in just the right locations. Three potential sources of ultra-high energy cosmic rays, including the OMG particle, are now on the short list of astrophysicists. First, there are so-called Icarus stars, stars that have been ripped apart when they came too close to a supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy. For about a year after a star's destruction in one of these tidal disruption events, Two jets of material shoot out from the black hole containing particles accelerated close to the speed of light by a combination of powerful shock waves and magnetic fields. Another possibility is starburst galaxies in which massive stars are being manufactured very quickly. These giant stars race through their lives and then explode as supernovas. It's been proposed that the collective shock waves of all these supernovas could accelerate particles into the OMG category. So-called radio-loud active galaxies are a third potential source of ultra-high energy cosmic rays. As ever, scientists will close in on the solution to the mystery of the OMG particle and its kin through further observations. They'd like to know, for instance, more about the nature of these exceptional phenomena, specifically, what kind of nuclei are they? 
Some evidence suggests they may not be protons, but middleweight nuclei such as carbon, nitrogen or silicon. That would make the problem of explaining how they were accelerated easier. They'd also like to know more about the directions from which these exceptional particles arrive at Earth. An upgrade to the Pierre Auger Observatory in western Argentina known as Auger Prime is due to begin operation later this year. Its observations may help us pin down where the most energetic known particles in the universe come from and how they're produced.